morning guys and gals, welcome to another video. This is just a quick update on Pamphibedius McCullough. Uh, this is uh, a female, she just molted and she's looking to be between six and a half and maybe seven inches. Uh, I'm just gonna give you a quick look at her molt. See that there? Just crazy, look at the color difference. She has been looking drad for a very long time. I knew she was gonna molt at some point, but like most pamphos, uh, they just keep eating and keep eating. But uh, I did see uh, her abdomen was darkening up. Darkening up, sorry. Um, I think it was you know last week when I checked in on her, and then uh, you know no molt. But uh, actually, I believe it was just a couple days ago as well. I was watering her, and uh, she hadn't molted. So uh, she probably just molted in the last day or so. Yeah, just unbelievable the difference in color. They're just stunning. Anyways guys, that's enough on her. Uh, I'm not going to feed her because, uh, you know, as I said, it's been, uh, it's only been two or three days anyways at, at the max since she's molted. So uh, we'll do an update on her and uh, do a feeding with her at a later date. Alright guys, on to the new additions. Alright, here's a look at the new additions. Um, I did get five, but I think I said earlier or I said later in the video. Um, Three of them are same, and that's the European mantids. Over here on the on the far left, we have the black widow, we have the tailless whip scorpion, uh, and these two are the European mantids. Um, I ran. I only had four of these enclosures, uh, so the the third mantis he hasn't got rehoused yet, but this is what I got him in 32 ounce deli cup with some like marijuana leaves in there, but it's not. <laughs> it's those fake uh, reptile plants. There's a little guy up there. Sorry about the glare. There he is, very, very tiny. So anyways guys, let's just look at the enclosures before I show, the, show you the actual animals and their individual enclosures. On to the next. All right guys and gals, there's a look at her. It's very hard to get her, um, because she's small, meaning on camera. And this is what she does. She keeps crawling up the top and she's booking it. So. I've tried this a couple times and she's just very, very skittish per se. And I don't want her to fall. Not that she will, but. So there's just a look at her. Um, as she gets more used to her enclosure and webs it up a little bit, um, I'm sure she'll settle down. I did try feed her, but uh, again, I just uh, rehoused her last night, so she's not used to her enclosure yet. But, anyways, there's just a look at her, if I can find her. And we'll move on to the, the next. Sorry about the crazy uh, camera work, guys. Okay, so here we have uh, one of the three European praying mantises. Uh, I'm not sure of the Latin or scientific name. I will figure it out. Um, so right now we're just gonna go with um, uh, the common name, European. This one is on the lid see it right there just a little tiny thing on the sort of kind of the left there um, what I did with these guys I'm just going to show you one of these guys because they're all the other three are pretty much the same um, I'll show you the enclosure and I'll explain why he's up on the lid here um, I've done a little bit of research on them and mantids uh, they obviously they like to be upside down and also when they're molting if they're not upside down they will die okay so I've seen a lot of other people putting mesh, um, like the screen mesh, or I guess it's the, some type of cloth on top so they can go up there and molt. Um, but I figured, you know what, why not just put a little bit of moss and maybe a piece of bark up top there. So, uh, you know, again, I'm trying to do this natural uh, route for my enclosures, but, um, you know, I think it looks kind of cool and uh, I'm sure the mantids appreciate it. When they're in here, I mean, they're very small, but it's so hard to find them. But uh, I looked at this one, he was uh, upside down on, uh, on his lid there. But anyways, I'll just give you a quick look at his enclosure. Okay, so what we got here is just, these are the little paint cans I was telling you about. This is almost the same size as a 32 ounce deli cup. As you can see, they're very, very clear to see through. Uh, they even have these little crazy handles. Um, I vented them out with pins, pinholes in the back, and also on the lid. Uh, but as you can see in there, we got moss, uh, natural bark, a couple different, three types of different moss, fake plants. And that's it. You know, obviously cocoa fiber on the bottom as well. So, you know, I think it looks pretty cool. 
uh, but these guys grow really quick and uh, I'm gonna end up obviously upgrading them as they grow. But anyways guys, there's a look at the mantids. We'll move on to the next. Actually, we'll go for a little walk there guys. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There he is, he or she. Very cute. Uh, and I forgot to mention, um, I'm feeding these guys flightless fruit flies. I don't know, you might have seen some in, in the enclosure as I was showing it to you guys. But uh, very cool, I'm very excited about these guys because here in Canada they're very hard to get. And uh, I seen a guy on Kijiji, uh, Mitch is his name, and uh, I guess he was breeding them, so I picked up the three. Very cool. On to the next guys. All right, here's a look at Antilles Whip Scorpion. As I said with the other ones, I'm not 100% with the scientific name yet, so I'm not gonna say it. I think it's Damon, it's DD or something. Damon, uh, something else that starts with a D. I'll figure it out and I'll, it'll also be in the description. But yeah, great little creatures. Um, very fast, uh, skittish, but they're, I mean, only if they're touched, they'll, they just sit motionless for the most part. Um, but uh, this one's probably about half an inch, but one of those antennae spread out sideways. The thing's probably about three inches long. Um, uh, very neat. But uh, the enclosure, same as the other ones. Cocoa fiber, three different types of moss, wood in there. And uh, that's about it. Very easy to set up and, you know, it looks nice and natural. That's kind of the look I'm going for, as I keep saying. So, anyways guys, that's it for the updates. Sorry I didn't get any feeds on these guys. I just rehoused them all. Uh, last night um, after I got them so uh, you know probably gonna take a little bit of time for them to settle in the mantids did eat but they're too hard to get uh, on film but anyways guys hopefully you all you hopefully enjoy the video on these guys and also the update and molt on uh, Amphibedius McCullough but anyways guys till next time have a great day and a great night wherever you're at take care guys bye bye